First question is from Steve Morrison, 416. Can you use MAP suspension movements in place of focus or trigger sessions? Mad genius or bad idea? <laughs> I, like they, I like how they phrase the question. Great yeah. idea. Scientist. It's a great. So suspension trainers Just are be careful, yeah. excellent for training the entire body. We have a whole program called MAP Suspension that's completely designed around suspension trainers. They're good because they're versatile. They use your body weight. They're uh, You can tailor them to your fitness level. They're appropriate for beginners all the way to advanced. Easy to regress or progress. Right. Now, here's the deal. Okay, so if you don't know what a trigger session is, I'll give you a quick rundown, right? Trigger sessions are low intensity, for lack of a better term, workouts that you do on your off days. Okay, so let's say Monday you train your body really hard. Tuesday is supposed to be your off day. Well, Tuesday you can still do a trigger session, about a 10-minute trigger session for target body parts. Low intensity, just get a little bit of a pump, feel a little bit of a burn, and in target muscles you want to focus on. And you can do that several times in that day, you know, two, three times a day, on your off days, it facilitates recovery, and it actually helps your body build more muscle and burn more body fat. Now, in our MAPS anabolic program, this is where trigger sessions originated, we recommend bands, resistance bands, because of their versatility and because it's easier for the for you to manage the intensity than it is with weights. Suspension trainers, also a great idea. In fact, you could do this with any form of resistance. You can do trigger sessions. But I like suspension trainers, too, because... They're also uh, very versatile. So if you're doing a trigger session at work, if you're doing it, you know, right before lunch, it's easy to hook up your suspension trainer to, uh, you know, secure surface, and do some, you know, ten minutes of pumping exercises for target areas. I love this. You just got to be careful not to overdo it, right? So because you can overdo it, because um, you can make the suspension trainer very challenging. I mean, you can make the exercise. That's why we've made a whole program around it, right? You can you can design it to be really really challenging and get really sore uh from doing too much so th my only thing would, would be to caution whoever it is is that you just remember when you do trigger sessions the idea is to facilitate recovery it's not to get a hard workout so you know something light easy and but what's great about the suspensions is that you can regress it you can make it really easy and what i love about this as an idea is it kind of is like so in Ma and maps anabolic we we talk about trigger sessions as the off day type of stuff and maps performance we talk about mobility work you kind of get uh, a, a little it's like bit a hybrid of, of both it is a little bit of hybrid of both that's, that's what a I like good point. about what I love about suspension you know one of the things that so my sister who works for the company and follows all the programs that we always release and she's going through the suspension trainer and like one of the things she said to me she goes brother she goes I cannot believe how incredible like my shoulders feel from using the suspension trainer mm -hmm. and I was explaining to her that you know the instability that the straps give and the ability for you to go through this really deep range of motion just great for joint support oh, so yeah. you get these great mobility benefits plus you get the trigger trigger benefits from it so I love this idea if you have one of our suspension trainers already or the program uh, to use this as like triggers or slash mobility type workouts. 